It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day and the grand reveal in Escondido. Four days with a lot of help from a lot of people. Thank you all so much for coming in and contributing to this amazing installation. I had uh, Valerie, uh, who you all don't know so well because she does a lot of maintenance for me. So she's very behind the scenes. But Val and her husband, Jose, many of you will remember Jose, came and helped us today. And Val and Hannah fluffed up the courtyard pots. So remember what these looked like on day one when I showed them to you and I went on and on about what we were going to do. I am absolutely thrilled with how they turned out. We took out the uh, Calanchoe Lucier that, were, that had bloomed out and we put in aeonium sunburst in this pot these pots pretty much stayed as is we determined that the sommelier is very much alive and should leaf out any minute look at the athona compensis and its adorable little yellow flowers so fresh then in here we added some more gravel around the pilosoceris and then, at, um, you know, we, we took off all the fire glass, added gravel, and then put the fire glass back because it had sunk so low in the pot. But I didn't want to take the whole thing apart, and I didn't want to put soil up against the flesh of the plant. So that was our solution for that. This uh, pot, I don't think anything happened here. This one didn't need any help. Remember, we did these about a year ago. So this little um, Bacarnia... Dooley. See those two little bulbs? Isn't that so cute? It didn't need a darn thing. And then the beautiful Aloe Ramosissima. We took all the crap out that was in here. It was just overwhelming it. We just left the beautiful string of pearls and retop dressed with some white creva and some little jade, a little sprinkle of jade. It looks very, very nice. The Lavender Lady um, didn't do anything with that. And the Trigona also took out some crap over here, left the beautiful string of pearls, left the milii, added a little lava boulder there for balance. This pot got a little bit of a facelift. Remember this one had the Hesper aloe and this aloe both in it. So we moved the aloe out of this pot and into this pot and just added a little bit of new fluff around the base of the Hesper aloe. This is an original little Echeveria too that we put in last year. And then they top dressed with a little bit of the uh, green jade rock. Um, the Hercules got, also got a facelift, took a lot of stuff out from around the base, left the Athona, and isn't it interesting, too, how in the shade it's a more elongated than in the, in the sun where it's a little, the leaves are a little rounder. It's really interesting. But, yeah, this just got, you know, a little facelift with some new funsy things from Oasis, uh, but all more low profile and a fresh top dressing of jade. And then this pot was just a dead, I think it was a dead milii. So we just put a little Petalanthus macrocarpus and a little uh, lilac mist from Oasis Water Efficient, my new favorite. Super cute. And some Creva. So uh, the pots, oh my gosh, they look 100. Wasn't that, didn't take that long. Wasn't that big of a deal. They were really in very good shape. Um, but now they're just completely tightened up. So are you ready for the main event? Let's check it out. All right. Take it all in. We uh, brought in an additional five yards of Palm Springs Gold three quarter inch gravel and got that all spread through. We also incorporated, you'll notice a few little lava boulders, popped, um, popped a few of those in, didn't go crazy with it, but just for a little contrast, added, uh, added a few of those then I probably worked with a little less than half a yard of black three quarter. And I did my three presentations like I like to do of black. I uh, just did a little bit across the top of this Hercules bed because this is, you know, pretty much the main event here in the middle of the installation. And, you know, just so you know, my thinking, my reasoning behind 
doing this the way I do it, remember I talk about how the first rule of design is it needs to make sense. And some of you have said you don't like the ribboning because it doesn't look natural. And you're not wrong. I mean, where in nature are you going to find ribbons of black lava on top of Palm Springs gold? Probably nowhere. But that's where the design aspect comes in. This is not nature necessarily. This is someone's home. And it's an aesthetic choice. It's a subjective choice. If it's not for you, no problem. Uh, but it's just like art, you know. It's really up to you. And we love that three-dimensional look. So that's why I do it. It's a, kind of my signature. And in this installation, I was very, very restrained with it. I'm quite proud of myself, actually. I did top dress the little Plicatillus pot with some white creva and some of the little jade pebbles. And that's just divine. I just love, love, love how that turned out. Then these left out these pots, um, we're going to be coming back for another phase and we're going to be staging and planting these out in the patio area. I worked in all the ones that I could. In the little kidney here, I did another splash of the black. Very simple. The Palo Verde Desert Museum tree, yes, it gets little leaves on it and it gets little pink flowers in the spring and yes, they do fall off. But they're so small and they really don't show up or make that much of a mess. They blend right into this light colored rock, which is another reason why I really dialed it back with the black in here and in the other kidney. Because I, you know, detritus, I'm thinking ahead. Uh, over here, got another presentation of black. So I have three, like I like my ones, threes, and fives. One, and then the little bit over there by the Hercules, and then the little bit in this kidney right here. Greg got all of the lights installed. Oh, check out my little cactus garden. So, you know, I was going on yesterday about restraint, 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 and how I was gonna keep it simple, and a lot, a lot, a lot of, well, yeah, yes and no. Um, yesterday I had this gorgeous mammalaria that I got from Desert Theater, and I had well, that was it, wasn't it? That's all I had. So I brought from home, I brought that little barrel cactus over there and these little balloon cactus. And it just didn't look, it, just, it wasn't enough. I know, but no, it wasn't enough. So I, I went to Oasis at lunch and I bought these darling cactus here. This one, isn't that the cutest thing? Look at those flowers that are getting ready to go off. This little guy here and the little columnar over there which only gets 18 inches tall at its tallest so now this little cactus garden which also as you can see has a little sprinkle of black lava going through it kind of you know jackson pollocked that it's just so much better than that pink breath of heaven isn't it yep so uh we also had a last minute inspiration to move the copper colored pot into the center of the patio area and plant the beautiful agave xylocantha in it. So they are going to be pulling in a stone bench, but right, I mean, how stunning is that? So incredibly gorgeous and simple. Yeah, see, I just, uh, I really restrain myself. Oh, and the rubble, what was this again, Greg? Copper Canyon rubble to uh, rubble out our kidneys. So, you know, it's uh, very subtle, really pulls in the flagstone colors and the colors in the Palm Springs. So, yeah, dang, dang, this turned out good. Okay, then over here, show you something else we did kind of a little bonus they are going to be demoing we've talked about this and you know pushing out and doing new new decking and new um, patio covers and new concrete but in the meantime I've set put Hannah to work turned her loose with the sawzall and the idea was that we were going to cut those giant jades and reset them but you know what when she got to cutting on them, they were rotten inside and completely hollow. 
it was unreal. So they just weren't viable. So those went to be with Jesus. And we pulled some of the little aloe brevifolia that we had left over from the job into the middle. And we put in some Palm Springs gold and it's done. This is so much cleaner and more simple. And remember, this whole thing's gonna go bye-bye anyway. So now they can see their view is no longer obstructed and it's just a tight, simple little presentation of plant material. Then over here, our meditation, our Zen meditation garden, we got the finish work done on it. We got it rocked, we got it rubbled. I did not add any black rock in here at all. I didn't need it, I didn't feel. And then around our fountain, I added a few lava boulders and a few of the jade pebbles and I sprinkled in just a, a tiny bit of black. I had just done a few jade pebbles and Greg came over and he said, you need to get over there and do something else with that fountain. It just looks, what did you call it? Cheap? Yeah. It looks cheap. He didn't like it. He thought it was too restrained. So didn't have to tell me twice. I came back over and added more bling and I'm really happy with it. I noticed also when I was over on the other side of the garden, looking over here that the fountain just looked like it was floating in space. It needed anchored. So I found these three mini boulders out in the front yard and pulled them into the design. Again, this is all gonna be new, concrete, covered, which, whatever. So these will probably not live here forever, but for now, it just, it's finished. It is finished. It looks absolutely amazing. Um, I'm so, so happy with it. So happy that you all like it as well. And thank you so much for your comments and for following along. Tomorrow is Easter Sunday. So for those of you that celebrate, I wish you a happy day. Uh, we have our kids here from Los Angeles. We have our kids from Santee. So we have all the grandkids and Greg and I, we're gonna do a dinner together tomorrow and just enjoy each other's company. Then next week, Next week, I'm not doing a whole lot, um, taking it kind of easy. I might do some work in my back garden, and if I do, I will be sure and bring you along for that. Then the following week, we'll have a couple of big seasonal maintenances and a little redo in Coronado. Uh, and then the week after that, Greg and I are taking our older kids on a little three-day excursion to the Grand Canyon. Then after that, we'll be back maybe here doing this front yard. So stay tuned. This has been Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity reporting with your grand reveal in Escondido and your succulent tip of the day. Bye guys.